Members of your caravan, lead your wagon off the trail, hiding it with some branches and vines. The oxen are tied off nearby, and one of your crew offers to watch the load while you and the others search for Gundren down the goblin trail. The trail leads five miles northwest. After about ten minutes of leading the party through the woods, your step triggers a noise just off the side of the road. And then, a rope coils around your ankle and rips upward, yanking your foot off the ground and lifting you up into the air to dangle upside down about three feet above the ground. You see small goblin footprints while your face is near to the earth. And you can tell now how they skirt around the side of the trail here to avoid this trap. Thankfully, another adventurer in your company is able to cut you down easily. However, the process certainly reveals that there is a need to be careful how you approach from here. Another ten minutes down the trail, and the familiar goblin tracks again lead off to the side of the path. In the walkway is a pit the goblins have camouflaged. The pit's walls are not steep, which might imply that these traps are not meant to be fatal, but just to slow would-be pursuers from catching the goblin bandits. The party is able to easily walk around the pit and continue on the goblin trail. From the back of your group, a soft-spoken man tells the party what he knows of the area. The Kragma tribe of goblins has established a hideout from which it can easily harass and plunder traffic moving along the Tribor Trail or the path to Phandalin. Kragma tribe is so named because each member of the tribe sharpens its teeth so they appear fierce and jagged. The leader of the Kragma bandits lairing here is a bugbear named Clark, he says. As the others take note and ready themselves to find the Kragma's hideout. Following the goblin's trail, you come across a large cave in a hillside five miles from the scene of the ambush. 